Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today guys, we're taking a look at this Dustnor here. Now this new this Dustnor is very powerful and disruptive thanks to its ability Spectral Breach, where all special energy attached to Pokemon provide a colorless energy instead of their effect. So pretty much you put this Dustnor in play and Twin Energy, Rampage Strike Energy, Aurora Energy, Horror Energy, Single Strike Energy are completely negated and they turn into a single colorless energy, which is very powerful and very disruptive. Decks like Mad Party don't even stand a chance. Now, when you play this Dustnor, you do have to play Pokemon that don't rely on special energy. So what better option would be but Victini VMAX. I think it's literally the most perfect partner for Dustnor. Um, I haven't done a video on Victini yet, so this is kind of my pseudo Victini video. But yeah, Victini, Dustnor, you get the Victini in play, you spam Max Victory, you have the Dustnor in play, and your opponent's special energy is shut off. And when you're in a matchup where special energy is very relevant, Dustnor can be very disruptive and annoying to the opponent. So that's pretty much what we're going to be playing today. So forget the video, guys. Of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGO codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. So, you guys, are going to pick up any set code like Battle Styles, Shining Fates, Vivid Voltage, Sword Shield Base Set. Or you're looking for a specific promo code, promo GX or V code, a Steam Deck code, a Sleep code, pre-release kit code, or maybe you want to get one of the Battle Arena codes for ADP or Pika Romp, get them over at Card Cabin. Of course, if you get any codes over at Card Cabin at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So shout out to Card Cabin, check them out, and use code LDF. Also, if you want to go check out the video articles I've been posting, I've been posting deck profile video articles, you want to go give them a watch, it would be appreciated. Um, so let's look at the list. So yeah, this is what I'm rocking with here for the Victini VMAX Dustnor deck. One of the cool things about this Dustnor is Dusclops with Spiritborne Evolution is a very good card, allowing you to discard three cards from your hand, and if you do, you can put a Dusclops into play. So very powerful ability, allowing you to put a Dusclops in play as soon as you put the Dusk Call down, as long as you have three cards to discard. And um, that's fine, because we can just get rid of some filler stuff. I am playing Cricketune in the deck. Cricketune combos very well with um, Dusk Call, I find. So that's a cool combo we have going for us. Yeah, it's a pretty low maintenance deck. Again, Victini VMAX just needs two energy to attack, so we only have to play three Welder. Uh, we don't really need to do much to get the Victini roll in. Max Victory um, does 220 damage to Pokemon Vs, so very powerful effect. You just shred Pokemon Vs. When you put the Dust Claw, the Dust Norm play, you're just going to shut up, shut them off even more. Uh, the Victini V is pretty good, too, with Energy Burst doing 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. Um, then I got all the support Pokemon as usual. I am playing a Cram in the deck. I'm um, just going to try this out for Spit Shot. could be a way to win the game, but we do have the uh, the Dedene. And uh, we do have two Escape Rope in the deck alongside a Fire Crystal, four Calm, four Quick Ball, one Reset Stamp, one Switch, three Giant Hearth, three Boss, two Marnie, two Research, three Welder. Again, since this deck is a little bit more low maintenance, we can afford to play extra supporters. Two Air Balloon and 11 Basic Fires to round out the list. Again, very cool, very cool deck. Um, we'll see how it does here. Um, with the Dust Snore Victini combo. We run the V-Base stacks, Victini will shred them. And if we don't, we can still kind of go with a uh, Energy Burst Max Victory combo. We'll see how it goes. See if we can take some wins. All right, here we go, getting into our first match with Dust Snore Victini. And uh, we'll see what we can cook up here. All right, we get a great starting hand. All right, love to see it. Amazing hand, would recommend again. All right, what are we up against here? Ooh, Matt Party. Okay, this is... Pretty much, not an auto win, but this is one of those matches where like, you literally put the Dust in play, you auto, like it's so good. So what I'm actually gonna do, is we're actually just gonna go Dust Skull right away, and we are gonna just Dust Skull Cricketune. We're gonna lose some energy here, which is fine. You're gonna guarantee a turn two Dust Snore. And then we turn their twin energies and triple energies to a single energy attachment, and we body them. That is the whole idea of this combo. And all right, we're gonna pass. We didn't get a Victini, which is unfortunate. Was looking for a uh, another Victini there. I wouldn't mind get another Duskull down in case they try to boss chase my Dusclops. Um, but I don't think they're going to be able to kill with this turn. They they would need a lot. We have 90 HP. They have to do 100 damage. They need to they need a boss and five Mad Partiers in the discard to kill my Dusclops. But yeah, once we get the Dustworm in play, I don't know how long this game will be because we put it in play. We literally like their twins and triples turn into a single energy attachment. So I don't know how long this game will actually last as soon as we put that Dustworm in play. But when we do, rip my opponent's Rip my opponent's uh, energy. But that is pretty much why the Dustmore is pretty good. So we're going to try it out here. See how uh, it works. All right. Just a Mad Party for 20. All right. Can we draw a Victini or a Dustmore? Wrong Victini. Uh, 
Quick Confuse Ray, but I don't want to put Dusclops in the active, so we're going to Marnie instead and just hope for the best. Let's see what we get here. All right, we got the... All right, not bad, actually. We got the Dusnor. Got the Victini. Love to see it. And the Dusnor down is very important here. Again, I don't know how long this game will last because my opponent might realize how powerful this is. Let's see if we can the basic so I can spread any flames. Kramer in. I don't thank you. We'll promote Victini. We'll spread any flames. Get some energy spread out here. Put that there. And put the two energy on the cram. We have escape rope case to try to bring in Dustmore. But we got the Dustmore play turn two. And now my opponent's mad party deck has to rely on attaching twice if they want to attack me. And that is not good for my opponent. And uh, yeah, there we go. We should run them out of energy at this point too. Even if we'll see. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Very unlikely they kill my Victini too. They need to do 200 damage. And they have one mad party in the discard. And they have one, one Senesti that can't even evolve. So... Safe to say we should be able to win this game. Um, we'll see what we do here. I'm tempted to escape rope and spit shot the Dedene. Never mind, that's not gonna work out. Whatever, but we still have an attacker. It's mad party for 40. Kinda feel bad for my opponent, kinda don't, because that's pretty much what we're trying to do. We're just trying to trying to put the pain on them. Uh, I'm gonna just take a knockout. I'm not gonna play anything else. We're just gonna knock them out. They can't attack me next turn because their triple energy turns to a single colorless energy. So they can't attack me. They just concede. I mean, yeah, the Dust Snore, you just put in play. The game was not going to last that long because the Dust Snore just completely shuts off their entire deck. It's insane. The Dust Snore is so good against Mad Party, and we just get a nice quick win there with Dust Snore Victini. All right, here we go. Let's try out this Victini Dust Snore deck again. We do win the coin flip. We will go first, of course. We'll see how we get going here. We do get a Victini start. Um... This hand is a little suspect. We have a lot of quick balls and a lot of dust snores. Both of our dust snores, actually. But depending on what we're playing against, we might not even need the dust snores. We'll see. What are we up against here? Another mad party deck. All right. Once again, the dust snores are going to be very special. So we're actually just going to get a dust call here. We are going to... Hmm. We can do crowbat. We can... We have to dust call away the. We have to get rid of one of the dust snores. We're gonna have to rock with one dust snore the entire game. That's fine. We have to keep that quick ball around. We're not getting energy down this turn. We can still pull off a welder though, so it's not a big deal. If only we didn't have both dust snores in our hand. Lull. Yeah, let's do that. Just chill out. Get the dust clops in play. We have to turn two dust snore, which is yeah. They have to try to do uh, 100 damage turn one to my dust clops. They want to KO it. We'll see what happens. If they do KO it, we can like crowbat and just try to get another one in play. We don't play Rod in the deck. Um, we'll see what happens, though. We didn't get energy down, which is the only problem. But again, we can try to get a Welder in play. So we can quick ball our top deck away. Probably go Crobat. Try to get into a Welder. We'll be fine. But yeah, once we get this Dustner in play, we should see my opponent just auto-concede. I haven't run into a lot of Mad Party on the ladder. A lot of Mad Party. I was trying to record another video, and I ran a Mad Party again. Okay, they just passed, which is huge. And we just draw the Dedene, which yeah, we might as well just play instead. All right, the Dustner is down. We got the welder. Yeah, pretty easy caps. We'll see what my opponent does here after we knock him out. We might see another quick concede because this deck might be the type of deck to do that. I'm going to save the Pokecom and just take a knockout. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see if they concede or not. I mean, we, we're putting the hurt on them here pretty badly. We got the Dust Nord turn two. But yeah, we run to a lot of Mad Party. I was trying to record a, another video before this, and I ran into another Mad Party deck while recording that video. And this is the second Mad Party deck I've run into while making this Victini Dustmore video, which I will take. This is quite literally one of our best matchups because it's a deck that relies simply on triple and twin energy. Um, so we'll see. Now, even if Dustmore does go down at some point, at the very least, this thing will have put in work and it will have, you know what, it'll do its job. And I think at that point, it'll put us so far ahead, we should win the game, which, you know, what we got so they can't attack me here they put the twin energy on they're like oh it's time to hit this victini try to time to poke it and you know jokes on them it's not going to work because of dust Nor's ability turns that twin energy into a simple one energy attachment so uh yeah f in the chat for my opponent see an escape rope not going to make a difference i guess they could try a trap dust Nor. we do play a lot of switching cards though we do have escape rope air balloon and switch yeah they just pass they're trying to set up a play here Ooh, we got escape rope they're just going to bring in the uh rain guru though I think we calm this Victini in the deck. We could get another Duskull and like maybe try to scare them. Be like, hoo hoo, I got another Dusknor coming your way, buddy. But uh, I'm not sure I like that. We're just going to research here. Here we get. Okay, we got the Duskull. Air Balloon. I'm going to put that on to 
I'm gonna save that actually. I'm just gonna energy burst. I'm not gonna do anything. I could bench Duskull and just, like it's something to just to bench it. Like it won't do anything, but it's literally just gonna be there to intimidate my opponent. Because like, oh, I have another Dust Snore. If you somehow manage to knock out my one Dust Snore, I have another one. So uh, that could be a little strategy we try to go for. They could actually KO it here. They have to do 160 damage though. They need to get eight Mad Party in the discard. They have three in there and they also needed a Dene in play to do the boss. So it's gonna be kind of hard for them to even pull off a, a knockout on my Dust Snore here, so. Very unlikely they get there. But again, I think Dustnor will have put us so far ahead in this matchup that it won't even matter, you know? I think it'll put us so far ahead it's not going to matter if it gets knocked out. Like, it did it, 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 its job. I am tempted to play this dust this dust skull down just to be like, haha, I got another Dustnor. What are you going to do? I got three in the deck, even though I don't have two, but they can think I have three in the deck by playing the dust skull down. They're like, oh, I, even if I knock out that Dustnor, there's going to be another one coming my way. That could be funny. They just retreat. Yeah, it's just not... Not looking good. We're just going to bench that. Put that down. I'm just going to keep doing energy burst. Um, I guess uh, they can't knock me out. It's impossible. They they can't attack me because all their energy is just a single energy instead of two. So Victini cannot get damaged. So. Uh, but we should maybe evolve into the VMAX though. But we can make him go through Victini V and then VMAX and then VMAX. I mean, it's like I don't see how we're losing this. I probably should play the Welder, though, just to try to draw more cards. We do probably want to try to find a boss at some point. Yeah, I probably want to find a boss. Because what I, my opponent's strategy could be put energy onto a bench Pokemon and then hope that Pokemon doesn't get gusted. We do have Cramorant, though, so we can always just go Spit Shot here if we really have to. We can just Spit Shot and knock it out. So They're going to attach again. Once again, they cannot attack me. So unless they have a way to move this uh, Pulte guys, it's not going to make a difference. They did have a boss. Unfortunately for my opponent, it would be ineffective because they can't attack me. But yeah, this Duff Snore, man, it just, it just makes Mad Party just not, just, it doesn't work, man. Duff Snore is just too good, my boy. He's just too good. The Duff Snore is too good. Oh, there's a Fion. That's an interesting wild card. Uh, we're still going to give him the VMAX. Right, yeah, we're all we're never giving them the dust snore. We're always giving them the V-Man. I don't know if my opponent's like, ooh, he'll give me the dust snore. It's not gonna not gonna work that way, boy. Not gonna work. Okay, there's a Mew. So now our spit shot is not effective. There's a Crobat. I wouldn't mind bossing that so we can hit it for 100 and then it can't get Giovanni exiled. But they are down the Pal Pad. And No, they are down Pal. No, they are. They haven't played Exile. Hmm. We don't have boss in the discard. I wouldn't mind getting boss here so we can try to kill the Crobat. Killing Crobat, I think, would be really good. I might just Dedene the hand away. I mean, we're not really losing anything too important. So I think I'm going to Dedene here and try to try to boss knock out this Crobat. And then we just got to take a prize to win the game. Even if they knock out my Dust Snore, giving them that extra turn of energy, it won't matter. We could just attack the active. Like, they literally just can't attack me. And we're literally just so far ahead. I don't even think they can win anymore. Like, we're just that far ahead in this match. Like, I don't think they can win anymore. Just, you, they just... Yeah, it's, it's, Dust Snore, man. Just not even... Mad Party doesn't stand a chance when you get into play, bro. It's just... Not even fair. Actually, it is fair, but it's, it's funny. Again, this next match here, we'll see what we're playing against. Will it be another special energy focus deck here? We do lose the coin flip, which is fine. No, we're going first again. All right, we, my opponent just love to make me go first. All right, we got the dust call. We have the dust clops. We have... Eh, that's not terrible. We can do a bit of stuff here. Um, Okay. So, how am I sequencing this? I'm going to calm the Dusclops back in the deck. Or a Victini. I forgot to get rid of all the energy here. No, we're going to get rid of all the energy. Spiritborn Evolution. We could... Oh, we can keep one around. Then we have Boss. But I do want to... I want to... We're going to Dedenne anyways. I want to try to move this Dusclops out of the active spot if I can. And uh, we have Fire Crystal, so it's not a big deal. And we have Spreading Flame, so it's not too big of a deal. We're going to Crobat, not to Dene. Um, we're going to try to move. I don't even know if they're playing a special energy-based deck, but they could be playing Urshifu, so make sure we're playing it safe. We didn't get a switching card. So Dusclops could get knocked out. They are playing... They have Dark in their deck, so if they have a Dark Attacker, they could kill my Dusclops here. That's going to have to be a risk I have to take, apparently. I could Dene, but I don't want to lose any of my cards in my hand, so we're just going to just pass and just pray that Dust Clops doesn't get knocked out. Okay, they're playing Rapid Strike. Dust Clops, Dust Norm, Single Strike Energy turns to Mush. 
pretty good. Actually, single strike energy won't even apply as a fighting or dark energy if my dusk snores in play. That's actually kind of funny. That's pretty that's pretty gas. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um single strike energy won't do a thing in this matchup. Okay, they actually play a rose engine, which is interesting. They do have Hound Doom. Hound Dower. Oh no, bite doesn't knock me out, right? It only does 80 damage, so we have we'll survive with 10 HP. That's kind of close. As long as they don't knock me out, it's fine. Okay, there's a Marnie. That's fine. We'll see what we get here. As long as we can move this Dusclops. Maybe another Duskull wouldn't be bad either. Just set up another one. Let's see. All right, we got Dustmore. Not a bad hand, actually. Okay, they don't attack me. All right, cool. Um, There's a Welder. So, I think we're just to Dene. Yeah, I think we just go to Dene here. And a Quick Ball. Grab the Dene. Sure. And we can... Dust snore. Uh, I'm gonna quick ball again. I am gonna get another um, dust calling down just to make sure we can try to get more dust snores in play if we can at any point. We're gonna do that anyway. We need to get a switching card here. We have a lot in the deck. There we go. We can weld her to the active too. Maybe knock out this Cricketoon. Yep. There we go. We got the V-Man. All right, let's go. All right. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah, uh, we got the Mew. I don't think they play. They don't play Rapid Strike. It's kind of silly no way no chance bench this evolve that max victory uh, cook the cricket tune for breakfast and yeah now their single strike energies literally do not work so good luck to my point there's a boss we can chase the urshifu next turn yeah pretty insane stuff man this is kind of nuts these special energy decks bro they just don't stand a chance now they probably do play a lot of basic energy though because they do play um they do have rose the problem is, without their Rapid Strike energy, though, they are unable to make this Urshifu do more damage. So, Vikini cannot get one shot here. Um, I mean, these games are just so fast, but it's like the Dustnor is just so good at just shutting off my opponent's engine. Like, what do you do? Do you stick around and play the game out? Not much of a point. The Houndoom, I don't even think could have knocked out my Dustnor either. It's just, yeah, what's the point of sticking around, you know? The Dustnor is just too good. And we get some more Plasma Freeze packs. We're getting so close to opening those packs. I'm going to probably be opening up at least 200 of them i'm going for 200 so uh saving up those packs hoarding them all and we'll see how it goes all right here we go get into another match we're up against a another welder deck it looks like so dustnor is probably not going to be very necessary in this matchup um because they're probably playing welder so dustnor probably won't do much we do start with duskall though and uh, not the greatest hand we don't have a supporter or a draw card but we'll see what happens we'll see what we're playing against here no, it's a Zacian. Ooh, could be Bolcephalon. Could be Baby Blounds. Once again, Dustnor, pretty useless in this matchup if it is Baby Blounds. Even Tempo's art, it's useless. Okay, no, it looks like they are just playing ADP, which is fine. We can beat ADP. A I mean, now we literally win. Well, we don't win, but we have our win condition. Knockout Zacian, knockout Mawal, knockout Zacian. Even though we can't knock out ADP that easily with Victini, we now have the three Pokemon down that we can just knock out instead. Again, our start wasn't that great, but it's fine. As long as they don't hit, like, an insane Intrepid Sword here. I mean, they might play Special Energy. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to put Dust Sculpts in play, but I don't think it's worth it to put the Dust in play unless we need to set up, like, a Crowback combo. I don't really... Like, I don't think they play Special Energy, so there's, like, no point of putting the Dust in play. You know? But we, we can put it down just, just in case. All right, there's Intrepid Sword. Please don't hit an Energy here because they can threaten my Victini. I hate Usation. Why do you have to have an insane ability? They're also still not drawing very well. Okay, fun times. I'm gonna have to probably just Dene here. Yeah, not much I can do. Bad hands will be bad hands. Yeah, I don't mind Dusk Call getting knocked out. Um. Okay, no Victini there. Oh my god. Big F in the chat. Lose our Eldegoss too. We just barely got it. Okay. Do this. I'll probably quick ball for another Victini. Go to the switch. Get, make sure we get two Victinis down. Might need a welder here if they do boss me, which could happen. I guess we can spreading flames actually. Uh, no, spreading flames doesn't seem to be that good. I guess then we guarantee a Victini V Max though. So maybe we should just do spreading flames actually. I mean, they definitely have a knockout here, but then they don't do. Then they do ADP. Okay, yeah, I think we do just do spreading flames. I think that's fine. Yeah, Spring Flame's probably just actually just fine. If they knock me out, they knock me out. It's not, the big, not a big deal. Because we have a VMAX, and the VMAX should be able to take three prizes. Or three knockouts. Sorry. So, should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, really no reason not to Spring Flames. You can just see how well, like, these discard combos go with Victini. So, the Duskull-Victini combo, 
good synergy. We don't have a boss in our hand though, that's unfortunate. So they could potentially still put some pressure on me here with an alter creation boss combo. As long as we don't bench Cricketune or another Dedenne or Crobat, we don't have to worry too much about the ADP, but they are just gonna Dedenne. They're not actually gonna get rid of their entire hand. No, they play Crushing Hammer. Okay, doing Spreading Flames was definitely the correct play there because they do play that garbage. They do play the hammers. The most balanced card ever printed. Ooh, sad face. That means they probably are looking to Dedenne their hand away. No, they have a switch. I mean, I'm not even surprised they had all that in their hand. It was so big. If only they didn't hit the energy off Intrepid Sword. But they actually don't have another hammer, which is really good. So now we can just knock out the Zacian here with our Victini VMAX. All right. Get your junk out of here. And we have a Marnie too to get rid of that Dedenne. See, we draw Dedenne. Okay. Oh. I have a Hypothesis. Just Marnie. I was going to Cricket Tune. I was tempted to, but I don't think we want to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Don't really need to mention the Victini just yet. Eh, maybe we do, actually. Let's calm the Mew. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we need the Dust Claw, so I, I'm not going to get Dust Claw. So I'm going to get another Victini down and just take a knockout, just to make sure we get another Victini VMAX in play. I honestly think this one Victini should carry us to a win, though. They haven't even done Alter Creation yet, which is also pretty good. There's a boss. All right, we got the boss. So if they just try to. I mean, there's nothing they can sit behind other than ADP. So if they try to sit behind ADP, we can just go boss, knock out, whatever they try to power up. And even if they do Alter Creation, I think we're still going to win the game. We're still pretty far ahead. Not having Eldegoss, though, might be a bit of a problem. To get our boss back, it's fine, though. Okay, they could still get Double Crushing Hammerheads. I forgot that card still exists. Oh, good thing the Giant Hearth is in play. No, nope, they're probably going to just attack me anyways, because they uh, Metal Saucer, very good card. Okay, all right, cool, cool, yeah, nice. <laughs> great, great, great. They just had just absolute gas hands for my opponent recently. I you love to see it. If they remove all my energy here, that's going to be pretty annoying, especially if... Well, I mean, we can always just knock out the, the Crobat. We don't have to specifically knock out the Zacian. They could sit behind a Dene, though. They get another Hammerheads, and then we can't boss knock out Zacian. That's annoying, but it looks like they might just go Brave Blade into a Mawile. Yeah, looks like that's what they're doing. All right, sure. That's fine. We just need to make sure we have another Welder. We still have our Fire Crystal. Still have plenty of energy left in the deck. Some prize, too. There's a Stamp. Let's Calm for another Victini. We only have one Welder in the deck. Hmm. Not good. It's not good and not ideal. Gonna go, uh, Dene. We could, I guess we can Crobat instead, but I'm just gonna dump and dig. We just gotta make sure we Welder to the Victini. No, no Welder to be found. Uh-oh. I think we have a Welder prize, right? We have two Welders prize. Okay, we should get one off the prizes then. No problemo. Should get one off the prizes. Right? No. Bur two and three chance of getting a Welder. Gotta be this bottom card, right? Oh, called it. We could get stamped, though. I maybe wish I had Cricket Tune down now, just in case we do get stamped here. We could get bodied by a reset stamp. If not, we should win the game with max victory. I mean, we might even have enough time to just go spreading flames into a knockout, too. If they're powering about Bobby and Zacian, they can't kill anything on the bench, so... Well, they can kill Duskull, but that's not winning them the game. So we can afford to maybe even just do spreading flames and just sit back for a turn. There's a Dedenne. ADP, the deck's so powerful, they don't have to do Alter Creation to be this offensive. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Do they have a reset stamp or a Marnie? Nope, that's game. All right, you love to see it. See, Dust Snore didn't need to be needed, and we still cooked my opponent because all their Pokemon are weak to fire. And, uh, I mean, it was a bit of an uphill battle despite our good typing. Oh no, they could knock out Dust Cloud. Never mind, they were taking three prizes, my bad. They were actually going to win the game there, but... It's all good. That was way closer than it should have been, but uh, that's ADP for you. It just has so many annoying tool cards that allows it to just be super hyper aggressive that uh, sometimes it can be closer than you think, even when you're playing a Welder deck. All right, guys, getting into another match. Probably one last match. We've done quite a bit of games with this deck. All right, we'll see. We do lose the coin flip here. We're up against a fighting deck. Could be Urshifu and oh, okay. Interesting hand. Lots of basics. It's a pretty good hand, actually. Hopefully our other Dusclops is in the deck. Might have to discard it here. Well, I guess we could go wait a turn and then evolve, which is, I guess, fine. 
I don't know if I want to wait an extra turn, though. I want to get the Dust Snow down right away. Forever against Urshifu, shutting off their Rapid Strike energy means they have one less energy out. We'll see. I don't know. This hand is just so good, though. I don't, we'll see what we're up against. A lot of drop Pokemon. I guess we can do Giant Hearth and find out. Do we have the Dusclops? We don't. Okay, so we do have to hold the hand then. So we're not going to be able to get the Dusk all down this turn. Okay. Good to know. It's going to pass. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get the Dusk Ops in play because it's the other one's prized. I guess we get a Crobat to try to find Pokecom, but I don't want to waste all my draw cards. We can afford to just wait one extra turn. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, what is it going to be? It could be a Rapid Strike. Could be something else. Could be... Probably not Single Strike, right? Which if it is, I mean, as seen before, we can beat it. We can beat it. Yeah, it is Rapid Strike. Okay. We are resistance of fighting, so that's good. Dust Clops, Dust Snore is really cool there. Nice to have. Yeah. We need to get Mew down, too. We're going to make sure we get a Mew down this turn. I don't even know if it's in the deck. Mew's prized. Thank you, GMAC Rabbit for being super insane and KOing my Pokemon before I get a chance to put him in play. That's going to be super annoying if they do, if we did prize Mew. Because... Then Dust Clops, Dust Snore won't be able to go into play, and they really will G Max Rabbit Flow. But if they don't, they can't do G Max Rabbit Flow. We're reviving. Ooh, that's a really big Cheryl discard there. Well, they have Scuba They play Mewtwo. Cheryl could be a bit of a headache for the stack for sure. But without G Max Rapid and yeah, without the Rapid Strike though, it might not matter too much. I actually think I do want to try to put Double Dust Snore in play if I can too. Might be pretty good in case one goes down. I mean, the less Rapid Strike energy they have, the better. They fail the Stellar Wish. We'll see if they go for a Strafe. I think they do want to do it so they can try to two-shot Victini VMAX. Nope. Nice. No damage taken. All right, what do we draw? Air Balloon's a good top deck, I guess. We'll take it. Just Crobat, I guess. Not even really. We don't even need the VMAX. Oh, but we got the gas anyways. All right, you love to see it. Boss, boop. Bring this guy up and max victory knock it out. Hold the hand for one turn. And the next turn we get the Dustmore play. They can't really rapid flow me unless they put like Coco Prism or something. So it's pretty, no, not even then. No, it doesn't matter. There's another boss. So they bench another, they bench another guy. We're just going to go boss chase it. And we're going to get the Dustmore in play. So they can't do rapid strike energy. So I'm feeling pretty good. That was a pretty big boss. They could play Empoleon. So this is also, I want to get the Dustmore in play. Maybe they play Empoleon, right? I don't know. They could, they could play Empoleon. They play Empoleon. They have a water attacker that can hit me. So... We need to show off Rapid Strike Energy for the Empoleon, but I doubt they play it. But you never know. I've seen I've seen some Urshfu list trying to play it. They don't get double Urshfu down. We're just going to go boss. They could, I guess they could Marnie me, but then we can get into an Eldegoss for boss. Yeah, Victini VMAX should just be able to control this game pretty easily. But I guess now we can't really bench Mew because we need to make sure we get another Victini down. We can't really rely on just a single Victini the entire time. But I mean, this thing could just carry us to a victory. That was a really big boss. There's a scoop up net. Yeah, if they don't get double Urshifu down, it's not looking good for my opponent. Even if they do, we're going to try to go Dust Snore boss so they can't do Rapid Energy. They don't? All right, yeah. Easy cookage. Um, We'll Quick Ball, get rid of the Dust Call. Get another Victini. I'm going to go Hearth. Attach. Boss. <laughs> I feel bad, but I don't. Bench the Dene. Uh, get the Dust Snore into place. Now the Rapid Strike Energy shut off and take a knockout with Max Victory. All right. I guess we maybe shouldn't have bench locked ourselves because now we can't bench Mew or Eldegoss, but I think we're really far ahead at this point. I think the game, yeah, they just concede. Pretty simple stuff. All right, I'm going to ride the HP show you guys on at the Victini V Max Dust Snore deck. I think we did a good job showing off the power of this deck. It's a lot of fun to play. Honestly, when you're up against a special energy focused deck, like it's so satisfying to put that Dust Snore in play. It's actually insane. Um, so any change I would make to this deck would be to add a add a Volcanion to the deck. I think this deck needs to play a Volcanion or two. We I forgot to put it in, but I do think we need to play a Volk or two just to counter Decidueye because it's actually really good against Decidueye because you put the Dust Storm in play and then their weakness guard of Romatic Energies do not work, which is huge. So it makes a Decidueye matchup super easy. So I actually think we really need to play a Volk or two. So yeah, definitely try to fit in a Volk in this deck if you can. Not really sure what you would cut though. I guess maybe you can cut an energy out of the deck. You can go down to 10 energy and play like a Volk. Um, yeah, I think this deck needs a Volcanion for sure. I think it's definitely something we need to play in the deck. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Victini VMAX deck. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you do try this out, <laughs> you're definitely going to have some funny moments against Mad Party. Because, again, I've been running a lot of Mad Party on the ladder, so expect to see it a lot. But that'll be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out all the socials down below, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. Check out Card Cavern down below. And, of course, if you get any codes over there, use code LDF at the checkout for a 5 discount on your purchase. Um, yeah, that'll be it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.